Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Sunburned Albano Plays Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. We're going to the right here. We're not going to buy a train because they are not very good. And we're going to go to the right and continue along with the campaign, which is still, it's kind of close to being over, but not really. And this is just, you know, the one of the, so it's, it's a pretty meaty game and uh, I appreciate that, even if it gets a little repetitive after the third or fourth one. Look, the men of Griffin are about to clash with our elf brothers. All right, let's go stop them then. Oh, and this is just like the same bounty guy. Except he has more bounties. All right, uh, yeah, I'll take him. Angeroid. All right. Those will all be tackled when I am of a slightly higher level. Ooh, this guy's higher level and he has a Basset Hound for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about, but I won't question it, I guess. Uh, but we'll battle him. Our basic units are better than his, but he does have, and uh, so are our elite, I guess. But like you know, he's he's got the champion as well. But that's why I don't like having elite and champions in the same thing because they tend to take away from each other, uh, which gives you less fusing and linking opportunities, and it just makes it harder for you know to actually make them work. Okay, so what kind of stuff do we have here? I am privy to doing that. And then... Ah, it's so annoying that the blue ones are here. And just, I've got a ton of options, but not, they all require a lot of commitment to actually make work. Okay, well, I just wanted to delete and get that, that out of the way. I know it seems silly to, uh, you know, get rid of yellows when we've got so many yellows that we need, but we also do need walls in that area. So we're going to, you know, just sort of take that as it has to be. I'm trying to also get greens out of the way. It, it looks like most of our major players are going to be made on the next turn. And we're just going to kind of sort through the rubble of this one. Which is, eh, but uh, that's how it has to be, I guess. I don't want to make this one yet, because I want it to link with this pixie over here that I'm going to do on the next turn. And then we're going to have... We're going to have plenty of time to make this stuff work and have it all sort of happen at once. As opposed to just a little bit here and there. And I would also very much like the opportunity to fuse those two druids together. So, we've got this and that. So there's a link there. Problem is we don't have a ton of yellows readily available, even at like after I I'm gonna do this now because like that has to be done, basically. And then if I move that there, we'd need yellow, but we're not gonna have it. So I don't think we're gonna be able to fuse these two. So we'll do that instead. We're gonna call reinforcements on the next turn. Because we'll have a few more. Pixie's not going to do a lot of damage to that knight, but it'll slow it down a little bit, I guess. And the six isn't bad. I still can't see what number that is, and I'm still never going to be able to, so that's just our problem, I guess. Uh, okay, let's go. That was... It was okay. That we, we got what we needed to get here. I'd rather not make a chain there, because it's going to end up being useless. But I also need this to happen somehow. Interesting call. Okay, we'll put it here, because then it'll make another wall on the next turn. But it won't, actually, if I put a yellow one here, so that kind of ruins it a bit. Let's see. Wall strength is six. And you're going to do probably eight. Which means you are going to hit my druid if I don't charge it right now. 
Well, you're going to hit it anyway, but, like, it wouldn't kill. Let's just go for it. I kind of messed up. But, you know, we still did made the best of a bad situation, I guess. I mean, our situation isn't bad, really. Like, he's got more stuff set up than me, and more health, and more basically everything. But it's still alright, plus we're about to do a ton of damage here. Oh, I did like that a lot. Okay, we're gonna need another wall, and that's gonna be supplied right here. What am I thinking about here? I don't know. So, let's just do that. And then call in our reinforcements. Unfortunately, did not provide... Oh, yes, it did. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, it absolutely did. And we even got an extra move. An extra couple moves, actually. So we could make even another wall here, which might not be a terrible idea, considering that we still have to worry about the second knight that's going to be plowing through this area. And then we'll put you here. Alright, 22788. Mm, yep, exactly the amount of damage that was required for that to not kill me. Or not hurt, even. All right, it's going to take him at least two more turns to set up that champion. At this point, I do regret my placement of my druid. But uh, we could use our hero spell to just kill the champion. But that seems a bit short-sighted. Okay, this worked out nicely. A bit. Let's do that. If I use the hero spell on the knight, it won't kill it. That I guarantee. Okay, I'll tell Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And I think it's pretty neat. It involves a little bit of self-sacrifice. But I do think it is the right thing to do. We are going to get that champion killed. Okay. Hero spell used right now. Kill the champion. Didn't expect it to do any HP damage, but that's done. And we are going to tank the damage from this knight completely, the full force of it. And that's going to fill up our hero spell like a bunch more. Almost back to full, probably. And so that is going to equal a nice... You know, we'll get our pixies right back to the full damage that we want them to be doing. Okay, but we're kind of screwed on, like, the whole making of chains thing. Really not giving me a ton of options. Almost to full. All right. It's exactly what we wanted. It might look like we're in bad shape, but honestly, we do have the upper hand. Because our guys are going to be at full power, and we've got this attack going off. That did pretty awesome damage. Unfortunately, we don't have a clear enough shot to guarantee a victory from another hero spell, but maybe next turn that will stop being the case. Yeah, because it looks like our druid is still going to go off... Our other druid is going to still go off without a hitch. With pretty much no defense whatsoever. And then our arrow will absolutely uh, pick up the pieces. Alright. Arrow Storm. If it seems cheap because the enemy doesn't have a hero spell, I guess so. As a matter of fact, I don't remember if enemies ever get hero spells in the campaign. Obviously, you get them in multiplayer.
Just another thing to watch out for. But maybe we don't have to watch out for it. Also, the boss battles in this uh, game are pretty scarily complex sometimes. Between the vents, peaceful neighbors. Stop, everyone! Put down your arms! Bested by a young girl on the battlefield. Uh, Sir Varkas at your mercy, elf. Speak! Master Varkas, why have you raised arms against my people? You started it. Our villages across the river have been attacked. They're... Coops? Crops sabotaged. Liar, your kind slew wise Lassier, her father, along with his brethren. No, I was there that day. Men didn't attack us, demons did. Demons? We're the victims of terrible lies. We must spread the truth before our lands are plunged into war. Eh, <sighs> even if I believe you, that means little. The Griffin Empire seeks revenge. Under orders from Count Carlisle, I sent men to get the Mother Seed. The Mother Seed? It is sacred. Future generations of our trees spring from it. Oh, really? Uh, well, they're planning to destroy it. Oh, Sylvan, no, Sylvan, Solana, no. Yeah, it's great. It's a nice face you're making. If we hurry, we'll be able to stop them. I'm sorry, I was following my orders. <laughs> Don't blame me. And then this guy's just like, hey, you wanna, you wanna do a puzzle? <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a friendly battle puzzle. Battle puzzles are different. In battle puzzle, you have one turn consisting of three moves. And you must form attacks in order to destroy every enemy unit on the battlefield. So let's do it. I used to be quite the strategist in my day. All right, Nellier. Dun 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 dun. All right. So these are the battle puzzles. And we'll see if I can figure them out. We've got three moves to destroy each champion and break through the wall. So, what we're going to need to do here... It's an interesting call. But I do think it begins with this. It should not have begun with that. We already screwed up. How do we end? I'm just going to restart. This is the fastest way I know how to restart this. Yeah, the fairy by itself doesn't do enough damage with the... Uh, with its attacks. Which doesn't matter because if we got the blue dragon, it would kill the treant and the green dragon on the right side. But yeah, that was my bad. Uh, we're gonna want... We need to get these two to the front. I... Maybe it starts with this. And then that would go... Here, we'd have to delete too much stuff, though. We'd end up one turn shy. Oh, it's a tough call. It's super tough. I'm just going to do it this way anyway. Yeah, because that knocks those out of the way. But then, unfortunately, like, we need one more turn to make it work. Yep, and that that doesn't even kill. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, because we have to link the deer to the dragon, so that would make it strong enough to get through and hit the one on the right. So how how does this work now, then? The fairies are worthless. They will not help anything. We could do it completely without them. We probably don't... If there's a way to delete the fairies to make it... That already just was completely crap. I want to restart. Bam 
So yeah, that doesn't work. And... We do kill the left dragon, which is terrific news, but... Uh, I Maybe I just don't have the mental capacity to think about these things, because even though I do think I've... I'm pretty good at the formula of this game. It's still difficult. It's just still really hard. You know what I mean? It's just it's hard. I think you do this not because it gives you the green fairies, but because it gives you a bonus turn. But then, and then two. Oh, that does work. Oh, okay. Then you take that one, put it there, which leaves these ones to go here. Oh, look at me. I figured it out. I apologize. I always feel embarrassed when I watch these videos back. If it if it comes down to me needing to figure something out, I just know that there's some people out there like going, "Come on! It's right in front of your face." Yeah. But these battle puzzles are a great source of experience. And they give you experience to all your units, which is really, really valuable. Yep, deer and dragon. Okay. Uh, he's got another one for us. I think I have an easier time figuring out that one. And yeah, we also get that. Bum, 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 bum. Level 10's the max, by the way. Bum, bum, bum. I love this theme, by the way. It's just really soothing. Okay, so what's gonna go on here? I think it's a trick, because it seems like this is the best thing to do. Because it gives you those super extra bonus moves. But you also need... The greens, because you could do that... This is completely involved by making the champion. Nothing, no, no other kind of chain will do any damage. But let's just, I'm gonna do this. And it does, we still have four. Okay, so then we'd wanna move that here. And that's gonna push that. Oh, I figured it out really fast this time. I'm proud of me. All right. I must be getting better. All right. Oh, I I have no memory whatsoever of how to solve these puzzles from like before, because I looked I had to look most of them up before, but none of that. There's no like remaining data on them in my brain. Like I I just that's just like how that seemed to work out for me. But I do like that it worked. I think there's only two battle puzzles per thing. I will check to see if there is a third. But if there is a third. I probably will not be able to do it. Oh, we got Treant Sap. Treant Roots leech double the amount of HP, so that would be good if we were ever using those. But you don't have any, uh... No, you don't have more. That was an impressive victory against Servarkus, but I know why his strategy failed. Would you allow me to test my theory in a friendly battle? Sure, yeah, you know. Come then, Sir Nathanson. Let us see this theory in action. Ooh, level 8. Unfortunately, my units are still better. Not our elite units, but, uh, you know, the bread and butter is what's going on there. Okay, was this a good roll? It, see, it's, it looks serviceable. It looks like I can do, like, maybe three or four with just using the B button. Which, man, which is good. Oh, this did work out pretty nicely. Okay. Getting a ton of walls. 
You're deleting the wrong units. What the hell are you doing? If you want that champion filled, you're going to have to delete the things that are in front of it. But I'm not going to tell you how to fight your battles. Alright. I mean, if we're really only going to be able to make the one chain, I'm going to move this guy over to where there's less wall. I'm so confused by what you think you're doing. You know why your strategy failed, huh? Uh, I know why your strategy is going to fail. Oh, but that turned him into a chain. So that's going to give him an extra turn. It's probably not going to help him out that much, though. Unless his reinforcements plant a champion directly in front of my face. Which could happen. It's a scary thing to think about. Uh, okay, so we're going to want this to make a wall and a chain. And the link. And then yellow's right here where we can... Like, if a champion's going to drop in the correct position, which it didn't, but if it had, then I would have. Then my druid would be in the place where it would be able to attack it. Okay. He is really going ham on those walls. And yet we've still we're still punching through those defenses. And I do like that. Got no blues available. We've got two rows of basically unusable units. And when, if we don't address that problem, it's going to continue to be a problem. So, why not... Start uh, putting stuff in places where it's going to be actually good. It's weird that you would decide break the wall instead of the unit that could have also been fine. And it would actually be better for you because if you deleted the blue unit you'd get a blue unit to be able to reinforce with. That's not like that guy's in a position where you're ever going to get to him. Um... Do, 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 do. Let's see. That uh, was not that helpful. We don't really need to make walls unless we can confirm that he's going to make the champion on the next turn. Which it's possible if he gets super lucky, but I'm going to bank on him not getting that. So instead, we're going to make a couple linked chains here. And I know that my blue pixies right there are not going to break through that wall, but you know you do have to break through the wall eventually anyway. And he got super lucky. Okay, that one's on me. Ah, uh, what an asshole. Oh, we made an extra wall by accident. I think at this point, instead of trying to halt the champion, we're going to try to win before the champion can go. That's going to be my goal. Okay, that's... That is going to start being a problem for me. Now he's got ways to heal himself. But we still did seven damage there. We're not quite have the arrows. If we had the arrows, we still wouldn't win, but we'd be a lot closer to winning. Damn it. We're gonna need... We might as well do this. Oh, and that actually did make the arrows. But still... Without knowing exactly how much damage they do. Because it increases as you level up. 
So I don't know what the math is. I don't want to screw something up that could possibly have consequences. But we are going to have to do something soon because he is going to start gaining health from his charging angel. Yeah, I got two there. And he's going to double that if he can get that white angel made. Which he does seem intent on doing. But he fucked up because he's an idiot. And that's going to bode well for me. I used to make rookie mistakes like that too. But then again, but you know, you expect that from a human, not from AI. Artificial intelligence. It's supposed to be better, you know what I mean? There's no need to do that. Got three moves. Why don't we stack up attacks on the left here? Although we could actually put one here and that would be better. Nah, I'd rather have them in the same lane. And I think on the turn that those two attacks launch will be the time where we've got our arrows to follow it up. Because with both those attacks, we're guaranteed a free lane to put our strongest arrow in afterwards. So I do think the piercing is going to help out. But of course, he was very good in blocking that entire area. But we'll just have to see exactly how good he can be. And we got a good amount of walls uh, to block the champion's attack. Definitely won't kill us. Okay. Now's going to be our moment. And we are about to win. And I, I like that. I like that that's what's going to happen here. Okay, 14 on the main arrow. And 7 on the subsequent ones. Does mean that I might have been able to end that more decisively. Alright, I'll take those. Varkas and I have gotten rusty, it seems. We could use a few extra rounds of sparring. I don't know, care what they're saying about elves back home. You seem a f an honorable lot to me. Okay, see ya, goodbye. Were you guarding a good artifact? Dragon scales. Last for, that's not good. That's not good for me. Ah. Okay, this is one of the bounty guys, but he's a high level. I remember that. We can buy emerald dragons here, but I don't want to do that. Oh, this battle sucks. And I would use a champion, but a champion would suck in this battle, so that's why. Like, know that I was going for variety, but then I forgot, oh, this is the match that's coming up right now, so we're gonna have to stick with elites on this one. Oh, men, step away! We've made a mistake! The elves are not our enemies! We must return to the Empire! You've turned elf lover, Varkas! Destroy them, boys! He's defected to the enemy side! We can't let them touch the mother seed, Anwen! Yeah, so here's the problem. We have to protect the Mother Seed and defeat the Griffin troops, which defeating the Griffin troops will be very easy, but unfortunately the Mother Seed is basically a champion that we have to keep on our side the entire match and not let anything ever happen to it. So there it is. And it starts right at the goddamn front waiting for anybody to do whatever they want to it. So what you have to do is keep it back by putting formations behind it to push it back. So that's going to be what goes on in this battle. I'm glad that they gave me that to start with. I've got... And putting walls is also very nice. But I've got to make a blue formation here uh, to push the pinecone back. Or, sorry, acorn. <laughs> My bad. So we gotta delete that. And there's no free blues anywhere. 
So we just have to prep for it on the next turn. They, We have plenty of time to set up our defenses. It just kind of sucks that I wasn't able to set anything up where this uh, dragon's going to be. But he will make it on the next turn, unfortunately. We are definitely going to have to take steps to make sure that that doesn't happen. Especially with the Mother Seed being on the same plane. We can't let even one HP of damage get past it. Alright, so you're pushed back. We either commit to killing the soldier before his champ... Oh, okay, never mind, you're an idiot. I forgot, They're, they make such dumb decisions. The AI never seems to recognize that instance where, like, you know, they just try to fill the champion behind them, you know, with the units that they need, but then they never consider the fact that maybe it's going to make a wall instead because of what else is next to it. So that does bode well for us. Which basically means that I can take my time... Putting units exactly where I want them. Which I want you right there. And then we'll make you on the next turn. Our acorn's gonna be at the front again, but... There's no attack he can make that doesn't give me at least three turns. To get the acorn back out of the way if he were to put it in the place where it would need to go. Okay. But he can definitely make his dragon on the next turn, provided he's not stupid again. I will take that damage. Just kidding, because he's dead. Okay. Alright, let's get that going. Make sure we get that going as well. The way our MP is at right now, our Pixies can kill that ch charged uh, attack on the left there. Alright, now we've got three turns to get the hell out of the way of that thing. But we're not going to be able to get out of the way of it. Instead, we're going to have to go through it. Or, yeah, okay, so this is, this is a great move right here. Wall and chain there. And then we'll be able to put another wall there. And I would like to get even another one, which we totally can. And then there's no way they're getting through that. They might be linked, but they can't break both those walls, especially by the time the second wall starts to regenerate enough to make it good. And also, you're just dead, so what do you know about that? This is probably math that if you're privy to this game and you're watching, you can see it happening before I can, because I can't read those small numbers, which means I don't know exactly how much damage stuff is going to do. So, you know, you just get to the finish line before me on that one. Which is good for you, I guess. But, you know, I'm just still floundering around here. I apologize for the troubles we have caused you, elves. I shall return to the R Emperor and tell him of this demon plot you have exposed. Huh? Who shot that? I didn't see any- I don't see anyone! Look, there is a note attached. Listen to this. We pointy-eared elves have kidnapped the human boy, that lord guy's son. We hold him at the elf, uh, at our hunting camp, and will kill him with our little elfy daggers. It speaks of Godric. It is written on birch parchment, but it's certainly a demon trick. Oh, really? you think so? Godric, son of Lord Edric, we went to the same seminary for young knights. This note was intended for you, Sir Varkas. They must want your men to find Godric. And if I fear and I fear if we don't hurry, we'll find his body and more and false evidence. We'll free him together and split the skulls of every demon in our path. We will move too fast for you. You should go home and reason with your leaders. Very well then, good luck on when. Could this be it? Could saving Godric put the Blade of Binding back in our hands? We'll soon find out. The Hunter camp is to the whatever of here. Ah, no stuff there. Damn.
All right. At this point, there's more bounties that we can have. That we can feel comfortable about doing. So I will go back and do them. Could I interest you in Redbeard's ultra-flammable torches? Um, no thanks. Remember, Sparky, only you can prevent forest fires. And in this case, the you means us. And the prevent forest fires means kicking your butt! That is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I've ever heard in my life. But we will be able to kill him. Sparky. All right. He did not get the best roll for getting his champion out of the way early, which bodes well for me. I am going to put this right here. I am so good. I totally expected all of those things to happen. No matter what anyone else says. Unfortunately, we cannot make another druid. Mm, but we can make another one of those. Oh, you were dumb. You blocked your yellow guy. You're not going to be able to make it in three turns now. He'll need to get a really lucky reinforcement drop if he wants that to work. I see we're still playing with noobs in this sense. But it is still the first campaign. Also, he can totally make it now, so I don't know. I just miscounted, so, you know, I'm a noob. I just don't hold that against me, okay? Just don't, just pretend, we'll pretend it never happened. All right, and why don't you knock some time off his charge there, or add time? I guess would be the proper English way to say that. Instead, we'll let our grunts do some damage to the champion further once, instead of relying on forcing him back. But yeah, he's using all spearmen, which is the uh, route that I'm going to take when I get control of those units. Because it's the best. They're not stopped by anything that, unless it would kill them. So their attacks will go unabashed. For pretty much the entirety of forever. And there's not a lot that we can really do here. All my walls are in the wrong places. I really just want to delete some of them. But they're going to get killed. By the enemy. So might as well just let nature take its course in that regard. Okay. How much damage are we going to take off this champion today? Oh, wait, 12 there, plus that, plus 15. Okay, I think that says 7. We could realistically kill that champion. Or we could just realistically win the battle. Like I was thinking that could be the thing that we just do here. Victory! Feels good, doesn't it? It does, it does, it does feel good. And I'll take that XP, and my Pixies will continue to be maxed out. And our Druids will begin the long treacherous climb to level 5. Not treacherous, but arduous would be more the right, correct word there. Bounty complete. Let's return to the Agent for our reward. That was a little faster than I thought it would be. So we're going to do actually even one more bounty. And 
and that guy's gonna be in here. Skullbrow, or whatever his name is. And it's gonna be our first fight against zombies. Which I'm not too fun Because zombies have the worst basic units out of all of them. That's just a fact. But their elite and champions are pretty darn good. And also their uh, um, equipment is pretty good as well. Drop the shuffle, Skullbrow. We're ending your grave robbing shenanigans. Yeah, he might only be level 5, but with all his level 5 units, you gotta make sure your units can match up, and ours do now. Oh, you will, if your units are not as good, if your basic units are not as good as the enemy's basic units, you will not win the match, I don't care how much health you have. You're just not ever gonna be able to break through their attacks. Okay. Uh. I, like, I'm looking at this, I'm not... I know there's plenty of things, but I, I, I don't know. I was looking, but I was not observing, I guess. What was the thing? That's a giant row of walls we can make right... We made right there. I do want all three of these to link. I think that would be a neat little thing to have happen. I guess, right? Like, you might... Okay, so. It does block one of the attacks. There's nothing special about two of those units, but the zombies, which are the blue guys in that instance... Uh, do poison damage if they attack, if they hit a charging unit. So they'll do damage over time in terms of turns and just compl and weaken your elites or whatever that way. Alright. But on the opposite end of that, they're quite weak. So they're probably not going to get through this wall. Yeah, there's nothing special about the zombies. And the Reapers or whatever, they're not that much stronger. So it's weird that they take three turns to charge when they're not very good. All right. Oh, but what the thing that the zombies do have is that when idle units are killed of their normal guys, they form walls on the next turn. So. They're pretty tenacious, I guess you could say. All right. Yeah, they all form into their wall right there. And you can check the toughness. Six on the best ones, and then two behind that and the one in the middle. And just one on the left. And then those are going to become even more walls. Why don't we get some links going? I doubt this battle will last that long, but our druid in the blue will go off before the vampire, so... Pretty much guarantees greatness. And the vampire is very dangerous because it if it attacks your health, it steals all of the health that you that it steals from you and then gives it to the enemy. Like not like half, you know, like a mega drain in Pokemon. No, 100% of the health it it takes, it steals for its master. And that can be troublesome, especially if they're quite strong vampires. Also, I'm so stupid cuz I didn't make this one. I didn't uh, but it's gonna be over, so it doesn't matter. Well, you've got some really good stuff set up, it's just a shame that you're about to die. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> 18 damage for the Pixies there. That is some stuff. And we didn't even make level 8? Come on. Come on, man. Went to how weak our opponent was. And we've received that. Okay, bounty complete. So that's cool. Uh, that is going to do it for this episode. On the next episode, I am going to get the unicorn. Because even though the guy guarding it is level 9, with our level 5 units, it really shouldn't matter. All it is is just an HP disadvantage. But I am obviously a master tactician, so that doesn't make any difference to me. But yeah, it's going to do it for this. Hopefully you stick around and watch the next one, see how this all plays out. And uh, I will see you guys next